Altair Monarch is the premier tool for data extraction, cleansing, and preparation. Some users may even look at the interface of the tool and think that it is simply a replacement for spreadsheet software like Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets, but that is not the case. In fact, these programs can cooperate seamlessly with the tool as these file types can be used as data sources in Altair Monarch. To start working with spreadsheets in Altair Monarch, we can simply begin the process of adding or importing data into our workspace, and we will select Spreadsheet as the type of data source. From there, we can choose from a range of choices, including Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel. For this example, we will use the Excel Worksheet Design tool to show how we can use trapping logic to capture data from spreadsheets with complex structures. The first file we'll import is organized in the traditional fashion, where the first row represents the headers, each column represents a different attribute, and each row is an entry in our dataset. To begin, we can select a cell containing information of interest to us, such as the first value for a last name in cell A2. I'll simply click Add Column, generating the first output column of data. One issue you may notice, however, is that the first row of our output data includes the header of our input data table as a value. To resolve this, we can simply select the first cell, A1, and click Define Headers, generating the correct column of data. We can repeat this process over several of the columns in the input data, allowing us to create a custom table of information. We can now prepare and process this data in Altair Monarch as needed. Now we can take a look at a more complex example. Suppose we have a spreadsheet that is not so neatly organized, where some data is entered one row after another, while other information above those data points is stored side by side. We cannot use the same approach as the first spreadsheet, as some columns contain too much information and others contain too little. For example, only clicking Add Column with B9 selected results in capturing the scheduled start time data, but it also accidentally captures information we want to store elsewhere. To resolve this, we can customize the trapping logic. The auto-generated traps are using the value, alignment, and font parameters of column B, and the font parameters of column C to trap the data. To fine-tune this, we have several options, but for this example, I opted to examine the cells next to the data I am actually interested in. We can see that all the date times of the absences are not in bold and they adjoin a blank cell in column C. We can then adjust the C column trap to account for this, correctly capturing our data. Similarly, we will need to include our append traps. Again, there are many possible routes that can result in the same data extraction, but for this example, I will just select the first employee number entry and choose add column. Since the employee number is already fairly unique in its formatting, the automatic trap does a good job of capturing this data accurately. However, there are problematic results when we try to apply this same process to cell C6 in order to capture the employee names. You will notice that the automatic trapping logic is accidentally only capturing the values for absences for which we are not interested in for the purposes of this demonstration. To correct this, we can use a similar process that was covered earlier. For this specific data point, we will alter the trap for column C. We know that all the names will be organized by last name, a comma, and the first name. And we know that none of the other data points in this column have commas in them, so we can add a condition to the trap 
that the information must contain a comma. Now we can see that our model is accurately capturing employee names in the modified trap. Just as before, there are multiple different methods that could result in the same output, so feel free to experiment. This concludes the brief overview of the Excel worksheet design feature in Altair Monarch and how to apply it to spreadsheets ranging from basic to complex. With these tools at your disposal, you will be able to turn any unorganized array of spreadsheets into a tidy and tabulated data set that fits your presentation, analysis, and post-processing needs. If you would like to learn more about data extraction in Altair Monarch, the software in general, or the overall portfolio of Altair Data Analytics Solutions, please be sure to subscribe for more videos like this, check out our blog, or reach out to us directly at trueinsight.io.